hey, 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 happy, happy Saturday. Let me fix that really quick. Happy Saturday. How's everyone doing? Welcome to the stream. Let me select and unselect. There we go. Happy Saturday. Welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing? Uh, yeah, my hair is like a little bit, it's getting kind of long and it's super hot to put on a hat. I'm kind of sweating because it's warm in here. So I just have it pulled back right now. So <laughs> doing something a little bit different. And yeah, light mode in here. Hey, ha happy Saturday. How's everyone doing? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for taking a little bit of time out on your Saturday to, to join the stream, uh, where we talk about a lot of different stuff, a lot of tech stuff, a lot of, a lot of, uh, yeah, pretty much tech stuff. Uh, so if you haven't been here before, pretty laid back. Um, we just talk about what we're working on. Um, last last week I did something a little bit different. I have Jeff from Craft Computing on. I think I'm going to alternate and have guests like every other week because I don't want to give this up at all. Like this is a huge reason why. I love being on Twitch is interacting with you all, and I don't want to just throw that out because one, it's been working well, and two, I love it. So uh, I'll have guests on uh, every other week or just when I can, uh, but I, I definitely don't want to stop doing this because I, I look forward to this every Saturday. And I kind of felt bad um, if you if you watched or were here for the stream last week. Uh, don't get me wrong. Like, I loved having Jeff on. It was awesome getting to talk with him. Uh, but I felt like the whole time, like I was, I was, I was uh, ignoring you all. So I, I didn't want to do that at all, and I, I got to balance it out. Maybe sometime in the future, if I could stream more, I could, I could get both of them in in a week. We'll see. Anyways, yeah, I'm, go I'm going for the Steven Seagal today, I guess. Uh, but I, I just had to get it out of my way, and then uh, my hat's over there. But like I said, it's, it's pretty hot in here uh, today, especially because I have a lot going on. Um, so anyways, uh, if, if you're not new to the stream, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate it. Thanks for being here. Um, let me know what you guys are working on. That's usually what we talk about. We talk about whatever in chat and we talk about what you guys are working on, uh, what you're struggling with. Uh, maybe if you've accomplished something this week or, uh, you haven't accomplished something this week, that might be <laughs> semi frustrating. Totally fine. All fair. All fair. Um, and then, uh, yeah, like uh, you guys probably saw what I was working on, but this last week uh, for my 100 days of home lab, this whole entire week I felt like was dedicated to this, uh, was getting my my uh, new switch installed, uh, migrating all of my settings over, and then testing 10 gigabit over my old Cat5e cables, which um, I didn't think was gonna turn out well. Honestly, I thought this was this is gonna be the one video where I don't figure it out. And so far, like every video, at least, <laughs> You know, I start out with a goal in mind, and I, I'm able to accomplish that. Um, and I, this, I thought this was going to be the first time I wasn't going to be able to accomplish something. Um, and uh, I, I, I figured it out. So yeah. So, you know, a lot of people I've read, I, I've read over the years about all the different cable lengths and all the different problems you'll have if you try to run uh, 10 gig uh, RJ45 or, or, or Ethernet. Um, 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 over Cat 5e cable, which is older cable. Like I chose that cable a long time ago because it was cheap. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> it was cheap. I was wiring up the house. I read about it. Uh, they had it at Home Depot because I needed it really quick. And it was like uh, when I read about it, it said can transfer up to one gigabit. I was like, sweet, that's that's plenty. I think it can do power over Ethernet, even better. And then there was always this disclaimer, it can do 10 gig over short runs. I had no idea what that meant. And the internet seems to be all over the place because it, it is, uh, it's, it's kind of touchy, touchy subject because it really, it just depends. So I hooked it all up and uh, it, it turned out pretty good, pretty good. I have some, uh, I hinted at the end of the video. I, I have some testing I'm gonna do here soon with, with possibly a new storage server. We'll see how that goes. Uh, when it gets here and when I when I can actually do a real test like I did a test and it, and it works great You know for my limited testing, uh, but I'm really gonna put it through the paces here soon uh, and try to depend on it So that's that's really gonna be a test of of, of, of this this network. So anyways um, Enough about me like uh, let's get into a couple things uh, first Let's answer who was here first. I know who was here first. I think I do because I refreshed chat I think just in time uh, and I think it was Ilude. Ilude, thank you so much for, for being here, uh, for being here first. How's it going, man? Good to see you. Uh, if you don't know Ilude, good dude. Good dude. <laughs> One of our mods. Uh, but yeah, thanks for being here. Uh, and then let's get into a couple things. There were there were subs and, and all kinds of stuff right before I started. So I want to make sure I call those out like I did last week. I felt so guilty. I had to go back through the stream. And in Discord, I, I went into Discord and I, I thanked everyone that I could find. I tried to match up the Twitch name to the Discord name, and I was like, I hope I got everyone. So if I missed you last week, I apologize, but thank you. Thank you so much. Um, also, real quick, my sounds aren't going to be working for my notifications, so I'll just I'll just try to keep an eye on it. So 
So anyways, let's let's get into let's get into events. I'm gonna I'm gonna start right about here. This was shortly before the stream. Uh Kario, uh Krithalk, uh the Alka the Alexander uh Rand Rando Dog. Uh thanks for follow, appreciate it. PC Geek, resub, tier one, 22 months. Thanks, man. How's it going? Speaking of mods, another mod, great community member. 22 months, let's go. <laughs> oh, man, thank you so much. 22 months, almost two years, dude. Can you believe it? I, I can't believe it. Thanks so much, dude. Appreciate it. Crack Kitty, <laughs> gifted five tier one subs. Crack Kitty, another great community member. How's it going, man? Dude, five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Gifted a sub to Alter Ego, 1973, Blade WR, uh d die dial i'm going with d 13 el uh profound games and rev reverend arrow uh enjoy your gifted sub uh from crack kitty dude thanks so much crack kitty <laughs> funny story crack kitty is uh he has a different name on, on twitter but his description says yes i am a kitty that does crack <laughs> the reason why i know that is because someone commented on one of my tweets and i was like who is this and i clicked on their profile and it said I am a kitty that does crack, and I said, that's got to be crack kitty. <laughs> so, how's it going? Also referred to as uh, VLAN Whisper, um, Network Guru, uh, and VP of VLAN, as other names he goes by. He doesn't really like me to say that, uh, mainly because he's pretty humble. So, anyways, uh, Pop Mocha, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome. So yeah, so man, thank you guys for being here. Let's uh, let's get into let's get into stuff and let's get into talking. Um, I, uh, uh, oh, one more thing I will mention, something we've been doing, oh, dark mode, kind of dark mode, one light is, uh, is struggling. Um, one thing we've been, there we go, as soon as I say it, uh, one thing we've been doing after the stream is, is we all pile into voice chat, and uh, we've been calling it the after party, the unofficial podcast, all, all, all kinds of names where we just go in there, we hang out, and we talk, and we chat. Um, so I'll be doing that directly after the stream. So if you're not in Discord now, you should definitely join. There's links everywhere. You can use the command uh, exclamation point Discord uh, to find that. Uh, and then, uh, and then yeah, we'll talk. I will say, though, I, uh, the last time I hung out for a long time, it was awesome. This time it's going to be a little bit shorter, but I will be there. Absolutely. I have to mow the lawn. And it's not even like I have to mow the lawn. I actually want to mow the lawn, too. Uh, I, I don't know if you heard of this thing called No Mow May. Well, I pretty much had No Mow May and No Mow June. <laughs> And starting to be no mo July, <laughs> but it's been really dry here, and so the grass isn't growing. So I'm like super hesitant to cut it because I don't want it to turn brown. Uh, but today's the day I'm gonna be, I'm gonna do it because we've been getting sporadic storms. It doesn't rain a lot, but enough to where you can't mow. Um, so I have a break for about 12 hours. I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna totally unplug outside of listening to music. So, uh, but yeah, I got to do that before. The next wave of kind of thunderstorms, maybe. And plus, I got to do it before my wife gets home because she's like, what's going on with the lawn out there? But it's all good. I think it looks good. I think it looks good. Uh, anyway, so I'll, I'll be hopping in Discord shortly after. Uh, I'd love for you to join. If if you need links, uh, they're everywhere. <laughs> or it's just Discord GG slash Techno Tim. So, okay, let's let's get into comments. Let's get into let's get into comments, see what you guys are working on um, and see what you guys are working on. Yeah, throw it in chat if, if you have questions or something. Uh, Salvarius, Neva. I don't know what Neva means, but oh, uh, Neva, Neva. I gotta, I gotta say it with the accent, then I know what's going on. I did miss out on a few first few comments at first. Uh, I, I do see them here, but they're not in my other chat client because I didn't have it going at the time. So I, I apologize. I apologize. Uh, so let's see. Uh, Ezreal, hey people, how's it going, Ezreal? Good to see you. Um, let's see fine fine might uh finally have time to watch the stream thank you thank you for being here fine might <laughs> good to be here glad to have you uh knee doors <laughs> sudo rm rf slash yeah yeah uh yeah that would just wipe out everything if i did it right now <laughs> stream would go offline <laughs> look at he split it first you weren't you weren't first i know who was here first <laughs> gcx how's it going stream hype yeah let's go <laughs> Crack Kitty, more proof Salvarius doesn't like Tim. Oh, he does. I think he does. I think he does. <laughs> uh, Ezreal, Techno Tim, happy your Cat 5e was up to the 10 gigabit. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I'm happy too. Like I said, like I had no idea how that was going to turn out. It turned out, I think, pretty good. I, you know, my iPerf test said 8.5 gigabit. Um, but I'd be, I, I want to do some real world scenarios. I mean, it did a file copy, which kind of blew my mind at first. It was up to, to one gigabit, which, you know, is is roughly what that's, uh, 
Uh, <laughs> one gigabit would be how many? Eight, eight, yeah, eight, uh, sorry. One gigabyte per second would be about eight gigabit, which is exactly what iPerf said. Uh, but once I get a new storage server in there and I know that I don't have to worry about slow drives or non-caching or anything like that, or even caching, which will give me uh, different results too, uh, I'll see how it goes. So yeah, super excited. Uh, all of this is just so I can edit 4K video over the network. Because up until now, I haven't really needed it. Yes, when I when I like, you know, move all of my 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 uh, videos from my camera to my server, sure it takes time. But I I've like built it into my process. I know, okay, copy all the stuff from the camera. I'm gonna do something else. I'm copying these here. I'm doing something else. So I ha I've like worked around you know slower network speeds for a while. And then I, and like I said, like working around slower network speeds, I'd always have these thing called proxies where it basically creates a, creates a lower res copy on your machine so you can work really fast. And that's helped with 4K because now I'm like, okay, it doesn't matter if I preview, if I see, you know, uh, uh, pixelation and I can toggle it on and off. The final render will still be 4K. Uh, and so that's worked out good, but uh, I think it's time to, it, I think it's time to edit over the network. I, I am scared though. Everyone's like, yeah, it's great, but I'm scared that they're like, they don't want to say what uh, the problems they run into. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm i a little bit skeptical that everything's going to be totally fine. Because uh, <laughs> everybody's like, yes, 10 gig. But I'm like, I know there are some caveats somewhere, but no one talks about them. And maybe there's not. Maybe there's not. Hey, hey, thank you so much. Albert Turing, thanks for the sub. Tier 3. Woo, thank you so much. Thanks for the sub. Uh, wow, thank you. Albert Turing has subscribed to you. Tier 3. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, and then Steam Cyper, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. And Pop Mocha, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you guys so much. Um, ah, tier three, thank you. Um, but yeah, let's see, let's see what else is out here. <laughs> Sudo RMRF Salvarius, no, we don't. Uh, Nathan, we don't. We want Salvarius around. <laughs> uh, PC Geek, uh, what are you working on? He's working on troubleshooting Packer uh, and trying to learn. Awesome. Yeah, let me know how that goes. I know you've been. Doing a lot of stuff with 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 Packer, Terraform, Kubernetes, all kinds of new stuff. So awesome! I I'm still haven't done Packer yet. I, I need to. I need to. I need to set aside some time. Maybe in my hundred days of home lab, one of these days, I will set aside some time. I feel like a lot of my tasks lately are, are a lot of maintenance or tasks that run multiple days, which which is fine. Which is fine. It's okay. Like if things aren't done in an hour, a few things get done in an hour, especially around here. So some of mine span a couple of days. I do think I need to throw some more. Um, you know, HashiCorp stuff in there uh, towards the end or or here soon because, uh, man, you guys are having so much fun. Why am I uh, already on the track? All right. All right. Let's see. Uh, Crack Kitty, uh, 10 gig part one completed this week. Pretty cool since not long ago I said I can't see any reason I need 10 gig. I hear you. <laughs> I mean, I'm the same way. I'm even the same way now. I'm like, I like just got 10 gig and I'm like, yeah, I don't really need it, but I want it. Uh, but I mean, I mean, need is such a, such a weird word to say too, but yeah, I, I was the same way. And, um, you know, I thought, uh, like I mentioned earlier about my proxies and stuff, I, I don't want to do that anymore. I, I, I don't want to like have this local copy of stuff, move it over the network when I'm done. Um, like, like even, even, uh, when I was working on this last project, I have everything local and I work on it local. And then at the end of the day, I copy it back to remote and that's like, I'm, I'm always scared I'm going to do the opposite and copy remote back to local and collaborate all my files and lose a day's worth of work. So that's what I'm mostly looking forward to is not doing anything local anymore, doing everything over the network. Because then, you know, I have, I have backups in place. I have snapshots in place. And if something went wrong, you know, I might lose, you know, maybe an hour of work, but not a whole entire day. Well, you know, not 24 hours, but, you know, a good four or five hour chunk of stuff I was doing because... Uh, not fun, not fun. So yeah, I, I've had to work around a lot of stuff. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Ezreal, yeah, you noticed. Did, did you change your intro bit? A little bit, a little bit. Uh, right before the stream, I was like splicing in like newer B-roll from, from newer projects. Because I was like, man, th this is showing like my server rack before like I even moved it into the server room and it's been in there for a while now. Uh, since November, maybe, or October. Uh, so yeah, I, I did. Thanks for noticing. I did change it up a little bit. Retired Night Owl, how's it going? Gifted a tier one sub to Swiss Techno Tom. Thank you so much. Uh, so Swiss Techno Tom, enjoy your gifted sub from Retired Night Owl. Thank you. Thanks for the gifted sub. Appreciate it. Uh, and Gooders, I don't know if I called that one out, but thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. 
But yeah, I did change it. I spliced it right before. I rendered it right before. I copied it over there. I put it in the background and hopefully it works. <laughs> all I did was put all the new stuff at the beginning. <laughs> I might take out the old stuff at some point, but it's it's for me, it's still kind of fun to see what it used to look like <laughs> when my basement was a little bit scarier. <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, JCX Life, glad you liked my fight with Proxmox, Spectre Meltdown, yeah, I wrote a write-up, uh, that PC Geek pinned to the Discord to anyone who needs it, won't be saying much tonight, uh, but we'll be watching, thank you, yeah, yeah, we talked about that a little bit, uh, you were looking at the, uh, the, uh, CPU flags, uh, in Proxmox for, for guests to make sure that, uh, they were, um, being honored, uh, uh, to protect against, uh, Spectre and Meltdown. And yeah, it's, uh, I, I remember going through that. I remember going through and like I had old boards and even they released microcode updates. Um, and then like, you know, all the operating system released tons of updates and, and, and it was, it was kind of crazy. So yeah, yeah. Good find this morning. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> oh my, uh, I'm going to go with Magala, Malaga, <laughs> Tech Sparrow, LOL. Yeah. <laughs> Do I know. I, I, I get that a lot. I get it a lot. I, I'm used to it now, but uh, Tech Sparrow, that's a new one. That's combining the Jack Sparrow and Techno Tim. Usually it's just like, Hey, it's Johnny Depp. <laughs> so I like the creativity on that one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Ash, Ar uh, Apershar. Sorry. Got that one all messed up. Apershar. Uh, hey, there's a retired Night Owl. Oh, I was like, hey, my, my alerts are messed up. Dude, retired Night Owl uh, gifted a tier one sub to the real Stilly. Dude, thank you so much. Uh, the real Stilly and enjoy your gifted sub from the retired Night Owl. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Apershar, uh, I am late. Uh, I am sorry. I am late. Apershar, totally fine. You can be late. It's totally fine. I'm just glad you're here. Uh, I'm usually late too. So <laughs> join the club. I have no excuses because... I, I'm the one that's supposed to be on time. <laughs> uh, AKF Phenom, uh, how's it going? It's Amaze Josh. Amaze Josh, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Amaze Josh, uh, he and I go way back. One, uh, he, was the, he was the one viewer in my channel way back in the day. How's it going, man? Hope you're doing well. Hope I think you were engaged to get married. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope, hope everything's fine. Good to see you, dude. Good to see you, man. Uh, if I might, uh, just resting finally, uh, finished my internship report. Nice. Uh, should graduate in two months and then start working means finally getting money on the home lab. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Well, enjoy, enjoy not working. <laughs> I know when you're younger and when you're in school or, you know, uh, and you're just so excited about like getting older and getting a job and getting money and, you know, getting a new car, like getting all these things. But enjoy not having money, not having a job, and not working while you can. Because as soon as you get those things, uh, if you're fortunate enough, then you long for the days where you didn't have them, you know, where you didn't have a schedule, you didn't have all these things to do. Not that you don't have things to do in school, you have plenty, uh, but you have lots of free time when you're in school, more than you think. <laughs> and then you have, you have a decent amount of free time, you know, when you start your first job, because, you know, you, I mean, depending on what you're doing, uh, you, you still have some free time, but then it just all gets filled in over time. So enjoy it. Enjoy it while you can. Dude, retired night owl. Gifted a tier one sub. Dude, thank you again uh, to Pop Mocha. Pop Mocha, enjoy your gifted sub from re retired night owl. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, let's see. Uh, JCX. Uh, also, for some reason, my brain said you look like yoga tonight. Don't know why. Yeah, I know. My wife teases me, but like my hair is getting so long and she keeps saying, just cut it, just cut it. And I was like, I don't want to cut it yet. Like I want it to grow a little bit longer. And so I like one night I could pull it up like that. And I was like, hmm, that sounds pretty nice because I get hot because I have curly hair and it just kind of like bushes out like this when I wake up in the morning. So, <laughs> but I'm going to mow the lawn and I, I don't want to put on a hat because I get hot with a hat on. So I didn't want to put one on now. So anyways, long story short, yeah, <laughs> I'll take yoga, Tim, even though I, I've only tried yoga once and it went terribly. Yoga is really hard. Don't be, don't be like uh naive. Like I was thinking like, oh, oh, you're doing a stretch around. No, you're doing, you're doing all kinds of stuff that your body's not used to. So <laughs> Uh, I'll take it though, because that, that would be a compliment because I don't do yoga. <laughs> uh, Night Oars, uh, Techno Tim, how can I be laid back uh, when it appears, uh, how can how can it be laid back when it appears that you're standing up straight? <laughs> I don't know. I, I know. I, 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 I get it. Dun, dun, dun. I like it. I like it. Uh, 
Yeah, and, uh, uh, figuratively speaking, I get it. I get it. I gotta turn on my sense of humor. I'm like, wait, I, I'm not. I'm standing. Yeah, late. Oh, okay, because I said it's a pretty laid back stream. I like it. I like it. I, I like dad jokes. I'm, I'm, I'm. I love them. Keep them coming. Uh, oh man, uh, I, I know what emote that is, but <laughs> text and and text doesn't work there. <laughs> Uh, peace, uh, 8586, hi Techno Tim, I installed Longhorn, but it was installing so many services and took so many resources that it just made K3S heavy. Uh, any other alternatives to handle volumes uh, for data in K3S? Yeah, so yeah, absolutely. So there are lots of storage solutions for K3S. Um, Longhorn is is going to be um, is going to be a little bit heavier than most because it's installing services, like you said, uh, but it is installing block storage within your cluster. Um, and so it needs services to be able to do that, to coordinate, to synchronize, to replicate that data, and even back that data up, connect and attach those to 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 services, uh, or to pods, I should say, is probably a better way to put it. But yeah, it it, it does add add um, some complexity. It does add some some uh, I don't want to say overhead, but some additional processing, uh, for sure. Uh, are there other alternatives? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, there's Rook Ceph, which you're kind of going down the same path. It's going to kind of do the same thing. Services, uh, daemon sets, all of that. Uh, so that might not be a good alternative. And plus you need Ceph on the back end. Uh, but uh, the NFS client provisioner is the one that I usually go with. I still use it. And the NFS client provisioner is, it's probably, it has a longer name than that now. It's the NFS subdur client provisioner something. Um, anyways, if you need a link to that, uh, I, I can glad you, gladly send you one uh, in Discord. But but anyways, if you just Google NFS Client Provisioner, it'll it, you should be able to find it. Long story short, what it does is it allows you to mount uh, NFS partitions uh, or NFS uh, 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 shares uh, to uh, all of your, your 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 hosts within Kubernetes within K3S. It is super lightweight, super lightweight. But, you know, it's not block storage, so you might run into problems. All the problems you run into with NFS, it's not block. Block is nice because block just always works <laughs> because it's like an attached hard drive to it. Uh, but with NFS, it's going to be an NFS share. So there are some downsides to doing that. One, it's over the network. Two, you run into complexities with, with databases especially. Don't like to be over NFS and, and there are quirks. But if you're looking for something lighter weight, Go that route. Go that route, and you can run them both. And you can you don't have to get rid of Longhorn to install another storage class. You can have multiple storage classes. Don't have them both as default because they'll freak out at some point when you don't specify which one you want uh, in your manifest. But yeah, uh, try the NFS client provisioner. It's great. It's great if you're looking for something super lightweight. But you need NFS, so you got to have an AS with NFS or an NFS endpoint to handle that. So, but yeah, I mean, uh, you know. I'm, Storage is, is just that. It's uh, it's it's not going to be super lightweight unless you're going to take storage out of Kubernetes and put it somewhere else and then just, you know, reference it like that. Uh, Mafni or Mathen or Ma Mathen. I'm going to, or Mafni, Mafni. I'm going to say them all. <laughs> uh, been working on Authentic in Cloudflare Tunnels. Awesome. We've been talking about Authentic uh, every now and then. I hop into voice chat and everyone has a big old party. And as soon as I show up, it's like, oh, Tim's here. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, so awesome, authentic. So uh, an, an auth, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's basically uh, a way to uh, uh, give you authorization and authentication, uh, but connect to third-party providers uh, for auth. Um, and so it's kind of like, uh, uh, I don't want to say an auth proxy, but just a way to manage authentication. But really the authentication is then managed by providers like LDAP or Google or you name it. Uh, so it's it's pretty awesome. It's uh, it's pretty cool for sure. Uh, Cloudflare Town is awesome. I, I spun one up a little while ago. It, it is it is fantastic. It is it is like magic for sure. But awesome. Two good projects. Two good and two to pair together for sure. Uh, Apreshar, uh, I have the same hair problem. <laughs> Volumizer I use is working uh, a little too well. Yeah. I, <laughs> funny you say that because my wife is like, here, take some volumizing shampoo because your hair is kind of thin. Uh, and I was like, yeah, sure, I'll I'll, I'll take it. Next day I woke up and it was just like this. <laughs> and I wore it like that all day. I was like, this is great. I haven't seen my hair like this since I've been a kid. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's, uh, it's, 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 it's funny stuff. And then everyone at work was like, whoa. I was, I was remote though. And one day I wore it in to work like that. They were just kind of like, whoa. I was like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just winging it like everything else. <laughs> 
Uh, Craig Kitty, uh, Maphne and Ilude have been helping with Cloudflare tunnels, traffic, and Othelia. Yeah, that is that is absolutely right. Uh, yeah, so thank you to Maphne and Ilude for helping. Yeah, you guys have been helping a ton in, in voice chat and Discord. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, uh, Cloudflare tunnels, awesome. So an easy way to, it's basically like a, a way to huh, have traffic tunnel into your uh, uh, network securely without opening ports. So pretty awesome. Um, and then traffic, obviously, or maybe not so obviously, reverse proxy slash load balancer, pretty awesome. Uh, and then Authelia is an auth proxy to be able to do uh, similar things to authentic, not the same, but an auth proxy to intercept those requests. So you can add authentication and authorization to them, uh, uh, making all of your endpoints, if you want zero, zero trust, basically saying, nope, no one gets through without credentials. So uh, three great projects or products to one's product. The other couple are, are product projects, but yeah, awesome for sure. Uh, let's see, uh, Geeky Rand, how's it going, man? Uh, use Cat 5 e to pull a cord for Cat 7. Tell me about it, man. <laughs> Tell me about it. I, I would, um, and, and a lot of people in comments were like, yeah, yeah, like if you have great runs and great cable management and you know, I'm like, no, you don't understand. Like this is a house from 1920, you know, walls are this thin, uh, people built the craziest, uh, oh, I'm almost putting my hand in the fan. People built like the craziest stuff ever, like in the bathroom and everything. Cause I have to go, you know, the big pipe, the stink pipe thing that goes up. I have to coil around that and then shoot one gap after I coil around like three times and get in this hole. There's no, I, I wish, I wish it were that easy. Cause I, I would. Um, and then the way I always, I, the way I wired this house, I'm glad I did. Um, well, maybe not now, but the way I wire is I, I start from the basement and go up all the way up to the attic and then come down where I need. And so that's what I did. And uh, uh, it, it, it's nice. It's, it's like organized in my head, but it makes it super challenging because like, you know, I go from the basement all the way up to the attic and then I come down right behind my, my machine here into the wall and I have a, a patch. Uh, uh, I haven't terminated there in a jack and uh, maybe I should, maybe I should like if for some reason I don't get the throughput I need on this, I'll, I'll honestly, I'll probably do just that. I'll cut one of these cat five and I'll probably run fiber. Cause I'm just gonna, I'm just not even gonna, <laughs> not even gonna play around this time. And I'll try to pull fiber. So then I have at least fiber here down in the basement, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but I, I like where you're going. I should, I should totally do that. I just wish it was a little bit easier. Next house, next house, I'm going to run everything really nice. I've never found a really great way either to have like channels to where I can pull more. Cause I feel like, like as you get four or five, six in there, as you put the next one in there, there's just too much in that channel or that, that <laughs> tube or whatever you use to actually get it working. Well, I don't know. I need to watch some more videos on it for sure. But yeah, I, I, I like it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, did you use iPerf for testing or some other tool? Yes. <laughs> yes, I used both. <laughs> I used uh, iPerf uh, to test it. I got 8.6 gigabit per second. And then I used uh, good old uh, Windows uh, copy and paste, a 41 gig file. Started out at one gigabyte per second, cut in half after about 30, 40 seconds. I think that's due to my drives. So, uh, but I'm going to do some more testing as I get a new storage server, hopefully here soon. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh dude, alpha computer resub, uh, tier one, three months. Thank you so much. Three months string alpha computer. Thank you so much. 1776. I like it. I like it. Nice uh, reference there too. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I use that. Per uh, thank you. Thank you. I did for sure. Uh, I haven't checked the video. Uh, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. Uh, we heard sounds. Oh man. Uh, hopefully they, hopefully they were okay sounds. <laughs> that was probably when I was getting, uh, when I was getting going. Uh, so hard to believe, uh, like a hard drive. Oh, uh oh. Uh, I thought he meant himself or his sounds. <laughs> I, uh, maybe, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to check. Maybe, maybe I have sound in one of those videos. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. I, 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 I rendered that one really quick. Maybe I need to mute that source. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, craft computing said Yakto, but I want to make sure I'm pronouncing this correctly. The Y tells me E usually in different languages, but uh, Jeff said Yakto, so I might say Yakto, but let me know how to pronounce it phonetically uh, or spell it phonetically so I can pronounce it properly. But, anyways, I'm gonna go with Yakto. Uh, got my core networking services rack set up and moved the router. Nice, a lot of people doing networking this week. <laughs> 
<laughs> that seems to be one thing that's like it's it's you put it on the back burner and then you just burn it all down and start all over. It's kind of what I, I've been doing. Uh, Unify Aggregation Pro and Unify Switch Enterprise 24 added. Nice. Uh, QNAPs are now accessible and got the site to site VPN from my house to my garage working and can hit remote resources. Nice. Whoa, wait, you have site to site VPN from your house to your garage? So you have a different ISP in your garage? I'm, I'm guessing. I'm guessing. Uh, do you, so you must have two I yeah two or one ISP but two plans. I'm trying to figure this out. Either that or you just create a tunnel through your own network. Cause why not? <laughs> um, that is awesome. So uh, let's go. Let's break this down. Uh, move the router. Unify Aggregation Pro. I've been considering that too, but I'm like, do I need that? And then I'm like, wait a second. I'm I'm, I'm asking, do I need you know <laughs> do I need a, a you know a aggregation switch for more 10 gig when I just put in 10 gig that I thought I didn't need anyways? I bet one day I'm gonna convince myself to get uh, you know an aggregation pro so I can get you know eight to uh, eight or so 10 gig ports and have that be like my backbone, uh, my distribution switch to then down to my other switches, all for this, you know, tiny house I live in. Uh, but one day, one day, I'm planning for the future. <laughs> but that's awesome, that is awesome. I have so many questions though about the, the site-to-site -site VPN um, from your house to your garage, because uh, I, I wanna know. Right now I have a wireless bridge that goes to my garage. I have uh, one AC Pro up here, or no, I have my 6 Pro, Wi-Fi 6 Pro, and then an AC Pro in the garage, and I do a, a point to point, or not a point to point, uh, basically a mesh, but a client bridge between the two, and I get about 300 megabit per second, which is totally fine for the garage. And then within there, I have a, a switch uh, off the trunk that then feeds devices in there. So yeah, pretty awesome. I, I've always been interested in like, how do I get internet in the garage? And uh, I've done uh, quite a few videos on it, uh, but I've, I've, uh, I've always been interested in that. And I, I was almost glad that I didn't have network cable going out there in the beginning. Maybe I will someday, uh, but it's, 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 a, it's a fun challenge to figure out like, how do I get internet to somewhere else, you know, uh, and then from there, uh, hook up a switch and then give devices in there, you know, access to your main network. It's it's super fun to figure out. It's, it's pretty much what some people do all day for networking. It's like, why didn't I get into that? It's fun to figure out. But when it comes to the tough stuff, that's where I'm like, okay, I, I need to let the pros in here. Uh, so uh, banana, banana and ice. I'm going to go with banana and ice. <laughs> Even high up people in our society do crack these days. Oh, we're going off that. I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. It's, it's, uh, not good. <laughs> not good for sure. Um, hi, Techno Tim. Hey, Swiss Techno Tom. Um, uh, great for being here. Thank you. Awesome. Techno Tim talk with Jeff from craft computing. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. It was awesome. He, he I, I asked him uh, on a whim and he said, absolutely, let's do this. And he was sick too and had COVID and he's like, I might not be able to talk, but I'm going to do it. I'm like, dude, we can wait. We can wait. It's totally fine. He's like, yeah, let's do it. I'm like, all right, let's 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 do this. So yeah, it was super fun. I have more guests planned, uh, but I like I mentioned earlier, I think I'm going to toggle back and forth between me and guests. Uh, unless you guys only want to see guests, but I felt very guilty for largely ignoring chat because I had so much to juggle. <laughs> it's a lot of juggling to do when you when you have a guest on. Like this alone, this stream is it, for me. It's a lot to juggle. Uh, but having a guest on and you know trying to be you know uh, part of the conversation with them is also hard too when you have everything else going on. So, hey, Alpha Computer, thank you so much. Cheered 100 bits. Thank you for the 100 bits. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. But yeah, more to come. More to come for sure. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I, I, you know, I have a, I have a pretty good lineup. I have a, I have a, a list of people I can, I can tap into. And then there's a list of people I don't even know yet that I would love to talk to too. You know, maybe not all home lab related, uh, but still in tech. So, uh, I don't know. I, it, it's fun. It's fun. And, and you know, it, it, worst case scenario, I, I get to meet someone and talk to them for roughly an hour, you know, so I'm always open to that. Uh, the ch Chilenio, I like it. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. The Chilenio, I like it. Yeah, so chill. <laughs> Millennial. <laughs> uh, GCX, Okies, oh, I'm gonna keep quiet. Oh, you're you're all good. <laughs> you're all good. Let's see. Um, Nidors, uh, mowing the lawn is quite chill to be honest. I think so too. I I, I think so too. I love I love uh, I get into the zone when I mow. Uh, when I do yard work, gonna do it here in a little bit, but. I, I totally get in the zone. I put on headphones. I put on a bandana usually because I sweat profusely. I, 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 I like sweat a lot for no reason. <laughs> like sometimes I sweat when I put together Ikea furniture. It's like <laughs> people, <laughs> my wife's like, 
are you hot? I'm like, yeah, I'm hot. <laughs> you know, this, this table is tough. <laughs> I'm starting to right now just thinking about it. But, uh, but yeah, I, I agree. I, I love, I like doing it a lot. Um, and it's, it's unplugged other than music. I'm plugged into music, but unplugged from screens and, uh, I, I enjoy it. So I'm looking forward to it today. Man, the self-hosted grass cutter robot. Yeah, I have considered, I've seen those grass cutting robots. They look awesome, but kind of scary at the same time. I don't, I've seen some with blades and the others have like, you know, uh, the, the, basically the, the weed whacker, whatever, uh, uh, line on it. Uh, I don't know. I think it looks awesome. I would love to do it just not because I don't want to mow the lawn just to see how well it does. It would be fun. It would be fun. Geeky Rant, open source source mowers exist. They do. I got to look into this. I got to look into this. Just saying. All right. Yeah, man, I'm into this. I like this. I like this. Uh, Tim needs to say it with the Jack Sparrow accent. I, I, I can't get that accent down. I, I have a few impressions I can do. Jack Sparrow is not one of them. Maybe I should learn because everybody says it all the time. <laughs> uh, for sure. Uh, Abdurum, uh, open source mores. I've never heard of that. I haven't either. Oh, I haven't either. Uh, maybe there are. I, I think there are. Uh, at least, yeah. If one, if I could put a pie on one, then yeah, I, I would consider that open source. Maybe. Uh, let's see, Ampershar. I've been working on my home lab for two weeks now, and all it is all on this channel's fault as you've inspired me. I'm sorry, not really. <laughs> Everything from Proxmox containers using Debian, uh, Alma Linux, uh, free IPA, Let's Encrypt, and Teleport. Awesome. Good, good stack in there. Good stack. I don't have a ton of experience. I mean, arguably, I have some experience with Debian. I mean, I use it, obviously. I use it on Proxmox. I use Ubuntu a ton. You know, very similar because uh, I think they're Debian based. And Alma Linux don't have a lot of experience with Alma Linux. So I'll have to look into it. Fri free IPA, I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with it, haven't used it. Uh, teleport, familiar, haven't used it. So pretty awesome. Yeah, good stack there. It sounds like you're learning a lot of good skills. Uh, the Real Steel. Hey, Tim. Hey, chat. Stilly. The, the Real Stilly. Um, uh, Techno Tim. The, uh, well, is that the Real Stilly? Yeah, it is. Uh, hey, you're a dev. I am. Uh, have you looked at Dart, Flutter? I, I have. Yeah, I have. Uh, I hear good things about it. I hear good things from the people who use it. Um, I know <laughs> I use React Native. That's very polarizing. And people who use Flutter are like, boo, React Native. You know, and people who probably use React Native are like, boo, Flutter. Like, I'm about to boo on Flutter. No, I'm kidding. Uh, so, I, you know, I've used React Native because um, I, I, I do a ton of React. I do React, you know, uh, client-side stuff. And then app, it's just so easy to spin up apps to in React. And so it's it's the same paradigm. It's the same tools, same tool set, same language, same everything. Uh, that's very portable. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't uh, give give uh, Flutter a shot yet. I, I considered it a couple times when I started a new app project. And I'm like, is today the day I want to learn Flutter and Dart? Or do I want to just do it and just do it in React Native because I understand it and because it's easy and because I can go real fast and then... I said, oh, well, I want to do it because it's easy because I want to go real fast. So, um, you know, nothing against it. I haven't used it. I'll have to check it out at some point in time. Uh, but it, it sounds awesome. I mean, Google Google knows that, uh, you know, Facebook was onto something when they created React Native. And so they created, you know, Flutter and uh, seems to be doing well. Uh, the only thing is it's like, uh, you know, here comes my butt. Um, Real quick, Matthew, thanks for the bits. 110 bits. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, lag man check CZ. Uh, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Uh, Licks crit. Uh, thanks for follow. Appreciate it. And Chilenial, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Alpha computer. Thanks for the 100 bits. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you all. Um, so the, the, you know, one of my, one of my reasons, and it's not a good reason. It's not a good reason because the reason is going to be because I don't want to learn it, <laughs> you know, but one of the reasons why I'm always kind of, I, I hold back a little bit is only because I don't, I mean, Dart sounds like a good language, but I don't want to learn a language that's very specific to one application, which is just writing, you know, cross native, cross, cross platform apps, which you could argue, well, why why learn Swift? Because Swift, you can only do it on one thing, you know, and there's tons of people who know and love Swift. And so I don't know. Ah, this is, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I feel like, uh, I feel like I'm in therapy right now. Dev therapy. <laughs> no, I will give it a try someday. Um, I do have some apps that are written in React Native. One day, maybe I'll, uh, I'll give it a shot and give it, a, uh, give it a go in Dart. Because I have considered rewriting them just because, like, things have evolved. And so uh, maybe Flutter. Maybe it is Flutter. Maybe I should just just bite the bullet and do it but i can go real fast <laughs> i can go real fast in react native though <laughs> just because it's react and javascript or typescript 
Uh, Skull, hey folks, hey Tim, how's it going? Good to see you, good to see you. Uh, let's see, uh, Pop, Pop Mocha. Uh, hey Tim, hey everyone, been following you on YouTube for a few months, Discord for a few weeks, never made it to the stream until now. Thanks for, thank you, thank you for being here. Uh, a lot going on in the home lab, but trying to get my DevOps stat working and migrate uh, my VMs to a new server. Nice. Also trying to fix my open VOS scanner. Oh, nice. So yeah, all right, DevOps stack, uh, moving your VMs to a new server, open VOS. This sounds awesome. This sounds awesome. Need to look into open VOS some more. I need to look into it some more. Uh, it's it's a vulnerability scanner, right? But uh, need to look into it some more. I've been using Trivi a lot lately, and Trivi I think is pretty awesome. That's more for containers and dependencies and stuff like that. I think open VOS is uh, uh, more scanning endpoints, I think. But yeah, it sounds awesome. Need to get more into it. But thank you. Uh, Swiss Techno Tom, do you have a, a lot of use cases for uh, 10 gigabit? My home devices have no uh, have no idea from 10 gigabit, <laughs> only for backend services, Kubernetes. Nah, nah, Kubernetes, no, not even backend services, anything over the web, no. Like it's like the communication and stuff for for Kubernetes and, and web services is is gonna be gonna be tiny uh, and. Um, the, my use case, I think I mentioned earlier, so I won't go too deep into it, but it's really to edit 4K video uh, over over the network. And even 4K by itself isn't that big, um, but when you have lots of project files um, and uh, you're doing that over a network one gigabit and you're sharing that with everything else uh, going to my NAS, you know, there's, there's more latency that's introduced and stuff like that. So I don't know. Uh, everyone says once you go to 10 gigabit and you can edit your files over the network. When I say that, I mean, I create, you know, a, a project on my machine, but all the source files are still on my NAS, you know, all, all of my videos, multiple 4K videos, you know, because when I edit, it's not just one 4K video. Even though you guys see one video, I could have, uh, you know, uh, five, 10, however many in layers. And so, you know, they're all sprinkled in throughout there. And so, you know, when I edit, it's 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 a little bit different than a normal use case. Kubernetes stuff, no way. Gig, you know, gigabits, plenty. I mean, the most, the, you know, it, I mean, it depends on your workloads, obviously, but most of the time, you're you're totally fine. Um, it's wh where I see it uh, applicable to me is, like I said, editing 4K videos. Backups are another good thing. Like huge migrations or large backups, you could just do them that much faster. You know, right now my backups are kind of staged according to, you know, they're, they're going to take as long. They're going to saturate a gigabit link for my backups until they're done. So if I could cut that time in half by increasing their bandwidth, you know, if I increase their bandwidth times 10, you know, roughly, you know, theoretically, I could do my backups in a tenth less of the time. So or did I get that math right? I don't think I got that math right, but you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, so I drastically reduce like backups, moving files, uh, or just doing, uh, um, for me at least, uh, editing lots of large files over the network. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's it, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Still, I, I haven't done a real world scenario test. I've done these, you know, isolated, very like iperf tests. It's a file copy test, but I haven't put it to the test yet, which is edit on here. But I need to put a 4K monitor in here first too, because I want to make sure that my source, my desktop source is also 4K. I've been cheating a little bit. Those are still 1080p when you see, uh, those are 1440p when you see those, but I'll be 100% native 4K here soon. <laughs> Secrets. Oh, uh, the real Stilly. Oh, oh, dude, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. No problem at all. Uh, you really didn't have to, but thank you so much. Yeah, no problem at all. Uh, let, dude, Swiss Techno Tom. Dude, thank you. 100 bits. Thank you. Thank you. Bits are on fire today. Thank you so much. I think I called that off the computer because that was five minutes ago, but thank you if I didn't. I think I did. Uh, let's see. Gooders. Gooders. Uh, like uh, Pop Mocha YouTube channel and Discord for a while. Thank you. And managed to get into the stream, hoping to pick up some help with storage options from others. Yeah, we have a lot of storage experts. I, I learned in our Discord community, we have a whole channel dedicated onto it. If you're in there, you know. A lot of people know a lot about storage and a lot of people know a lot about networking. Actually, a lot of people know a lot of stuff in our Discord. It is awesome. Like anytime I ask a question, I get like so many uh, different perspectives on it. I'm like, yes, this is this is like better than Google because I'm getting it. <laughs> I'm getting it from people who have actually done it and not just someone who's talking about it on the Internet. So it's 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 awesome having so many people with 
so many real world experiences uh, in a lot of these technologies. It's, it's great. Like I said, it's, it's better than Google. And it's not just like, hey, how do I do this? Because I don't want to Google it. It's like, no, hey, here's what I'm trying to solve. What's the best way to do this? Or hey, just like a litmus test. Do you guys do this? Like earlier today, I was like, you know, should I should I statically set all of my switch ports to auto negotiation or should I leave them on dynamic and set it to auto or should I set them all to static? And there was a great discussion about what people do at work, what they've done at home, what does work, what doesn't work, where the gotchas are. And I'm like, this is great. This is like not the stuff you will find in Google. You'll find, you know, a well-written blog post that talks about this stuff, but, you know, may or may not be from someone who's done it in real life. But anyways, anyways. But yeah, I, I totally agree. Uh, Don M., Dude, thanks for the 100 bits. Appreciate it. Cheer, 100. Thank you so much, Don M. And Vedith. Vedith. I'm going with Vedith. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome. Uh, Othu. Othug Muffin. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, lead Chaos. Uh, so cool to see you live. Thank you. I built my own website. Thanks to you. Hosting at home. Awesome. That is awesome. I, I love hosting websites at home. That's, that's kind of how I got started self-hosting in general. I wanted to host a blog. Wrote it in HTML and CSS. It was terrible. Uh, and it was ugly. And it looked very similar to the one I did in college. But you know what? And I used dynamic DNS. And I think even then, it was technotim.dns.org, maybe. I don't remember. No, it wasn't. It was something else. I remember now. Uh, but anyways, uh, it was great. That's how I got started. Uh, the Real Stilly. Uh, amen. I miss the days where I was free-spirited. Yeah, we were talking a little bit about this. before. Basically, before you join the workforce. I, I do, too. Uh, honestly, I have, I have a lot of free time. I mean, I, I talk about working a lot, but uh, that's only because, you know, I, I, I have the time to work on this stuff too. Basically, I have two jobs, but I choose to fill the second time with doing, you know, content creation, which is, which is super fun. Uh, Ezreal, uh, I'm getting a 48U open air case. Oh, Chase, Chase Lounge, Chase. I think you meant Chase or Chase. I'm going with Chase. <laughs> uh, from probably next week, and I managed uh, to uh, convince my wife that I could have it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's very important. Prerequisite. <laughs> going to be moving to the home lab. Uh, going to be moving the home lab to my office, to the basement sometime in August and September. Awesome. That's that's kind of what I did. I mean, I didn't move it into the, the to the uh, from my office, but from a different spot in the basement. But it, it's a good time to move it because, you know, at least here in the uh, northern hemisphere, you know, it's getting close to cooler weather and getting close to winter. And then, you know, you can kind of warm up the space down there and not have to worry about cooling until the spring. But I still haven't figured out cooling. But, hey, that that is awesome. Um, I'm, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of kicking myself now for getting the ATU rack. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how I can swing getting a couple more things in there without, uh, without getting another rack, but it's, it's not looking good. I can't do 48 because I don't think it's tall enough. I don't know how tall a 48 is with, with, uh, uh, casters on it. Uh, but I don't think my server room is tall enough, but I might, uh, might figure something out. I definitely don't want to go too many racks. Uh, if anything else, I'll go one, you know. 30-ish. I don't think I can do a full 48, but if you have the space. <laughs> Speaking of things you said you'd never do, but then you end up doing them anyways, that might be something I'm going to do is expand my rack. Because, uh, you know, after yeah, I even talked about it, you know, a couple weeks ago, I was like, yeah, I, you know, I'm trying to keep things down. I don't want it to be a graveyard. But every now and then I'm like, man, I would love to have these other things in there right now. And it's not even that I, I, I'm holding on to these relics that I don't want to get rid of. It's just like right now they're not in the rack they're somewhere else because i don't have a place to put them so would like to convert everything and put it in there so oh let's see uh lead chaos uh i'm a dj here on uh on twitch stream with my girlfriend some techno music hey thank you i'm, I'm not a dj <laughs> i'm not a dj at all uh techno tim is a nickname i got in in college because uh buddy of mine yeah long story but uh he he always called me that because i played Techno, that's what they call it, it's really electronic music. Uh, loud, louder in my, my, my dorm room is right next to the bathroom. It wasn't that loud, but it was right next to the bathroom. So everyone had to walk by my room to go to the bathroom. And they were like, this guy's always playing techno music. And then, uh, you know, my RA was always like, you know, first, first rule, our first point, uh, our first thing to address every, every floor meeting was Tim, turn your techno music down. It, it turned into a joke. And then yeah, a guy that lived next door to me, a hockey guy, who just started calling me Techno Tim. And so everyone called me that. For a long time in college, for many years, people just called me Techno. That was just my name. Like, they didn't even call me Tim. 
It was just techno. <laughs> so I decided to just kind of play it up. I just was like, hey, what should my channel name be? I'm just going to pick my, my avatar name <laughs> for every game that I play. Anyways, long story short, that's where that's where it came from. So I love I, I do enjoy electronic music uh, quite a bit. I love it because it I, I don't have to think a lot. Uh, it's it, less words. Um, I saw an alert come up, but I don't see it in my list of alerts. So hopefully it gets refreshed or something. Um, uh, okay, I I huh. So I, I'm going to reload. No, I'm not going to reload. Anyways, I saw an alert come up. I don't know what it was because it hasn't appeared in stream elements yet. Hopefully it appears. But thank you, whoever. It looked like a sub but at the corner of my eye. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. JCX Life. Every time I hear uh, Longhorn, my brain jumps to beta version of Windows Vista. I'm pretty sure it was called Longhorn. It was. It was either Vista or XP's codename. It was Vista's codename because uh, there was Longhorn and it actually had, you know, for a little while, I think it had a picture of a, a, a Longhorn steer, I think. Uh, I remember it. And then I remember, uh, was it? No, it was Longhorn server. Was like, yeah. So Longhorn, I think, was the server name. You know, it was like the Vista server because Windows was Whistler. I don't remember, but uh, this this is bringing back memories. But uh, I thought it was I thought it was the 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 Vista server. You know, whatever the, the 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 you know server version of Windows that was coming out at the same time. I thought that was called Longhorn, and then like Windows was Whistler at the time. I don't remember, but oh, good memories, good memories. But yeah, I did run. It was like code name Longhorn. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I think that too. But now it's like it's 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 buried, <laughs> buried. Uh, tops tops wag code. Uh, Techno Tim, what do you see as a n next uh, as a natural step? Uh, promotion options for DevOps engineer, any good career paths? What do you see as the natural step slash promotion options for DevOps engineer? Any good career paths? Uh, do you mean how, how to become one or what do you do after you do become one? Um, that's tough. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I mean, a lot of people uh, I, I'm th from, so get promoted from a DevOps engineer to what? To the next thing? I mean, I, it depends on how your company handles promotions and if they have titles higher than that. But I think, you know, I, I assume you have a junior, a senior, uh, a lead, uh, maybe a principal of these types of engineering roles. I mean, it really depends on your organization. Uh, but the higher you get, I feel like, you know, it's... it's uh, it's more you have to focus on, you know, mentoring and leadership and architecture, you know, looking at things at a higher level and you start contributing as an individual less and contributing through others more. <laughs> That's what I've learned uh, in my career. So, um, it, it, I mean, it just depends. I mean, it depends on your organization and if they put a value on, on those types of roles and those types of levels and how they do it, you know. Some, some just give you an auto promotion after a couple of years and some have very specific guidelines you need to hit and you need to be operating at that level before you even uh, can get that title. And so it really just depends. But like I said, what I learned is like the higher you get in those types of levels, even if you stay technical, not even in a managerial position, is that you, you know, you, you go from kind of an individual contributor um, to, you know, contributing through others. And that might mean leading a team, uh, mentoring people more or making architecture decisions for the team of people that uh, are not reporting to you, but are on your team that look to you as, as uh, for guidance. That's what I've learned, but it really depends on the company though, too. So, I mean, if, 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 yeah, if, and it, if, if it, yeah, depends on the company, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've, I've been in those types of roles before um, as I am now. And yeah, it just, it really depends on the company. So, yeah, I, I, I hope it goes well. Like, it's an exciting space. I, like, I love DevOps. It is a huge space. It is a huge topic. And everyone, it's it's like everything in between, you know, code and <laughs> and production servers. And sometimes people include production servers and operational type stuff in the DevOps too. Uh, so it's just this huge chasm and this huge thing. So, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people can carve out a, a really a good space for themselves. But I, I love it. I enjoy it. I do it at home. I do a little bit at work and I've done, I've done it in the past before it was called DevOps. And I, I really enjoy it because it, you know, it focuses on automation and it focuses on delivering value. And I know that sounds like a very enterprise type of uh, uh, response, but you know, people enjoy 
uh, getting things that they worked on into production and out on time or early. So it's, uh, it's very important. And the company appreciates that too, most of the time. <laughs> uh, let's see, Sten, uh, hey mate, could you share some information about mounting directories to a Docker images running inside LXC? Can oh God, <laughs> wow. Um, I wish I could. So, so I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to to to, to run Docker in LXC. That's something I haven't done before. I I know it can be done, but it just it's it gets gets weird, and it's not anything to do with you. It's everything to do with the technologies or the uh, LXC containers that they use. Um, so it gets kind of weird. So I I don't have a great answer for that. I know a lot of people in Discord have done it, um, but um, uh, really. <laughs> If I have to think about this, you know, how would I do it on, on a virtual machine? I mean, it's it's the same idea. You know, I I, I have to mount um, I have to mount remote storage to that virtual machine, and then from there I have to mount that storage to the Docker container. Now I know I said virtual machine, but you could swap that out with LXC, and in principle the idea should be the same, but the implementation is probably different due to some incompatibilities or things you or hacks or whatever you have to do to put in place to get it to work. Uh, with Docker to work inside of LXC containers. And I know there are distributions, L LXC containers that are built specifically to to, to to run Docker and not be something you want to look down to. But honestly, I wish I had more. I wish I had more other than like, uh, I haven't done it because uh, maybe I should do it at some point just to just so I understand it better. Because I feel like I haven't done that. Uh, it's, it's kind of a cop out, now, but I, I don't want to, you know, just feed you BS if I haven't done it. So, oh, let's see. Um... Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, where are the messages being sent that pops up on the on 18? Uh, I don't see them in chat. Uh, Cause you got to scroll up or you join late. I'm going top to bottom. Uh, let's see. Uh, screen not teen. <laughs> uh, also about DevOps. Uh, some interesting article I read today. Dot dot dot. Yeah, you can't share. You can't share links in here. Uh, let's see. Uh, 18 wheeled ray. Sorry, skipped over that one. Hey, Techno Tim, how's it hanging? It is hanging fantastic. It's uh, it's Saturday. I released a video today. I feel like I I can breathe. I'm starting to think about the next one. Well, I've been thinking about the next one, um, but always on Saturday and Sunday after a video, I feel pretty good because I know that like I got what I needed done. But now I start worrying about the next. So good to see you, man. Uh, right now, uh, Kubernetes. Hey, right now, how's it going, man? Uh, Kubernetes talk takes out no bad. <laughs> yeah, we've been chatting a little bit about Kubernetes. I know that you're you're starting to dive in too. Uh, yeah, ping me if you need something, man. Uh, but uh, it's it's a wild world. You might never come back <laughs> once you turn Kubernetes. You might not come back. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, man. Uh, JCX Life. He's reading them in order. Yes, I am. Sorry, I'm, and I'm just reading anything that I see. Uh, in the middle of my hundred days of home lab hours. Uh, let's see, Skull. In the middle of my 100 days of home lab hours, uh, thanks to your challenge, I've completely rebuilt and rearranged my server rack logically and added a low power 2650 LV4 server. Nice, nice. I'm glad, uh, I, well, I either, uh, you know, either I'm, I'm sorry or thank you. <laughs> I know that um, a lot of people, it, it inspired a lot of people to do stuff. That's awesome. And I'm sorry if it, it's eating up more of your time, but hey, I think it's uh, it's fun. At least for me, it's it's super fun to do and uh hope you enjoy it and I, I think you'll you'll learn a ton i've already learned a ton like i've already learned a ton and now that i i'm doing this myself i'm, I'm dog fooding this 100 days of home lab doing it myself and sharing I'm, i've shared every day so far i keep i keep thinking i'm gonna accidentally not tweet but i have been and not that you have to it's just i i'm, I'm gonna do it um i keep uh, i keep thinking i'm gonna miss it but anyways uh, that aside I've learned so much so far and I'm, I, I need to keep notes. I mean, my tweets are my notes, but I need to keep better notes because I, I want to do a retrospective at the end and say, here's all of the things that I learned. <laughs> and because I, I challenge other people to do it too, now I feel like I, I, I feel like I have to one up even myself too every time. It's kind of weird. <laughs> you guys don't have to do that, but I'm always like, okay, I worked on something pretty cool yesterday, but I need to work on something even cooler today. And then tomorrow, even better than that. <laughs> it's, it's tough. So a lot of, some of my updates are, you know, they're, they're real. They're like today, I'm going to clean out my server room. Why? Because cables are everywhere because I filmed in it, you know, for the last three days. And so I'm, uh, I'm uh, going to do something kind of boring, but then I, I slipped in a couple of cool things too. So, but yeah. Uh, Kiki Rand, we have an entire channel for the, yeah, that's right. Uh, that is right, Ray Dow. He's, he's in our Discord too. He's in our Discord. He knows. He knows. <laughs> Send him in the right spot. Thank you. Thank you, Kiki Rand. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, JCX Live. Party in VC. Tim arrives. We are having a party. <laughs> the information says, yeah, I, I tease. Because everybody, because that's what they do when I join voice chat. They did it to me last night. And it sounded like, everybody was like, hey, shh. You know, and I was like, oh, man, you guys are having a great time. I shouldn't even have joined. <laughs> I think they were trolling me. But, uh, yeah, it's I love it. Uh, oh, Thug Muffin, uh, I'm migrating stuff from Nomad to Kate's. Wow, you already checked out Nomad and decided that it's not for you. Interesting. I, I you know, so Nomad is is um, is a product by HashiCorp. Uh, I don't want to say it's a competitor to Kubernetes, but it's a competitor to Kubernetes. <laughs> it's in the same space, basically orchestrating uh, orchest uh, container orchestration, or really, uh, you could even go as far as just saying like, life cycle container life cycle stuff uh but pretty cool stuff um haven't looked at it i've watched the video on it uh, a couple times it looks cool but there's just so much gravity you know with kubernetes and, and inertia and just people uh, so many people using it it's kind of hard to to kind of split like that um so but yeah it, it's interesting I, I i i'm curious genuinely curious to know like what you thought about nomad and what brought you back to, to Kubernetes? To, you put, I know you put Kate's afterwards, but I, I knew what you meant. Uh, curious for sure, because because uh, that means you've already tried it and decided maybe it wasn't for you. So I'm, I'm always curious about that. I, I feel like that should be part of my 100 days at home lab too, is just like give Nomad a shot because I, I can't knock it till I try it. You know, I kind of feel like that. Awesome, uh, Jade Bauer, uh, when is IPv6 coming? Uh, probably never. <laughs> I know. Probably never. I, I, I know. IPv6. I love it. I love the memes on IV, IPv6 too. And, and Discord. It's great. Everybody just dogs on it. I love it. I love it. Uh, honestly, probably never. I, I know there's a use case for it. I know a lot of people like it. And some people probably do it as their job. I'm, you know, I'm not a huge, huge, like, uh, uh, networking person. Like, I, I don't have a great use case for it now. Uh, does anyone <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding that's kind of what the memes say uh but i don't have a great use case for it now maybe i should explore ipv6 and you know not knock it until i try it although i have been trying it i think a lot of us have been trying it if you have windows machines at home i think windows machines past like windows 7 or 8 maybe 8 i don't remember which one you know they communicate with each other over ipv6 so uh we've kind of been using it but not knowing it if you're running a windows machine i think that's what they said a long time ago but i haven't done anything for real with it every time i see like enable ipv6 on any kind of networking device i uncheck it or make sure it's unchecked and no other reason other than i just don't know enough about it so Oh, let's see. Uh, oh, Thug Muffin. I use Twingate for VPN. Works similar to Cloudflare tunnels. It connects back out. No need to port for it. Nice, nice. Yeah, there, there, there. Um, there are quite a few uh, people in this space that do that too. I haven't heard of Twingate, uh, but I have used some others, and it, yeah, it's, it's it's fantastic. Basically, I think a reverse tunnel or something like that. Brown Becker. Hey, Techno Tim. How's it going? How's it going? Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't want. I want to make sure I don't skip people who are looking for me. So we are getting close to that time. So I am. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go through. All right. Uh, oh, side project collab with Network Chuck for that one. Yeah, that would be awesome. I'd. I'd love to. I. 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 I've messaged Chuck before. Still waiting. Still. <laughs> still waiting on that response. <laughs> He's probably not going to. He's a busy man. But uh, yeah. I. 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 I don't know. Much about him other than his videos, I'm sure I could learn a ton from him because he seems like he knows quite a bit about networking. So, yeah, but I, I don't know. Uh, let's see. G6 uh, Life, and you had to manage cabling for the sauna. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That is right. The the sauna in my server room, <laughs> a.k.a. the grow room. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that is right. And by sauna, you mean grow room. Yeah, yeah, totally. totally it's totally a grow room. Uh, feds are going to show up any, any time now. Uh, Abdurham, uh, putting your hand in the fan. Is that, <laughs> is it really that down? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's right here. I mean, uh, you know, my ceilings in here. What? I mean, I'm six, five, so I'm pretty tall. I'm six foot five. I don't know if you guys knew that. And then my arms obviously can reach up so I can almost touch the ceiling. I think they're nine foot in here. And so the ceiling fan, you know, comes down about, I don't know, it's a foot and a half. And so there are blades right there. So there are times when I stretch on my stand up, you know, during, during work where I have put my hand in there, but they're plastic, but it's still, it's, it's kind of scary. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see. Um, 
Everyone go grab a hammer. Let's uh, go to Tim, build him a house from the ground up based on a giant home lab. Yeah, I would take it. I would take it. Yeah, I would take it. I, I totally would. I would totally would. All right, let's uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to look for mentions, but it's really hard to look for mentions. But I'm going to look for mentions because I want to be respectful of your time. And I know we're going to jump into Discord voice. I'm just perusing. I am scanning almost as fast as I can go. Uh, let's see right here. Nidors. Uh, Techno Tim, what would you say is Kubernetes color? Uh, I need it for a spreadsheet reason. Also the same question for Pyle. Uh, Kubernetes is going to be blue because their logo is blue. It's like a, a nice blue, like uh, about this bright blue. About the blue, you, well, a little bit darker than the blue you see in here. Kubernetes, blue. Pyle, absolutely, it's going to be red. It's going to be red because it's a Raspberry Pi and it's Pyle. So those are the two colors you should choose. <laughs> I'm only going by their logos too. I'm only going by their logos too. Uh, let's see, Abdurum, uh, how are you doing? Non-tech question. I'm super sorry uh, if this is inappropriate. <laughs> how old are you? Yeah, it's inappropriate. I'm not going to tell. I'm not going to tell. Uh, it's it's pretty easy to find out. I, I make references all the time to uh, to certain eras, uh, to time when I graduated. You'll have to wait and figure out. But uh, I, I, I'm probably older than you think. I'll, I'll put it that way. A lot of people say I hide it well, so I take that as a compliment. <laughs> PC Geek, XP's code name was long on. All right. Uh, that's right. Okay. So XP's, yeah. Okay. It was Longhorn. Good call. Because XP was Longhorn. And then there was Longhorn Server, which was Server 2003, I think. Yeah. Good, good call. Oh, and then 2000 was Whistler. All right. I'm going way back. I'm, see, I'm going way back. See, uh, you can tell. Uh, Windows Millennium. Oh, Emmy. Uh, Longhorn was Vista. Longhorn was Vista. Okay. That's what I thought. That's what I thought too. We'll have to settle the score and voice chat in a little bit. And that's where I'm going to hop in. Hey guys. Hey, thank you so much for, uh, for joining today. Uh, I, I, it's super fun to be back here hanging out with you guys. Uh, I, I might have someone next week. Um, and I'm trying to juggle a couple of things. I, I absolutely will be back on Twitch, uh, next week. Uh, hopefully I'll have something for you on YouTube this week. Uh, but if not, um, I, I will definitely be on Twitch on, on Saturday. Uh, I do have maybe someone lined up, but I still got to confirm with them. Anyways, I'll, I'll let you know in Discord a little bit earlier than I let you know last time. Uh, last time was kind of like a, on a whim. So, uh, but yeah, anyways, thank you so much for joining. There were there were lots of follows. There were lots of bits. There were lots of subs, gifted subs, uh, resubs. I greatly appreciate it. There was one sub in there that I saw an alert for that I still don't see in my notifications. So I do apologize that I didn't call that out. Didn't show up in stream elements and I don't see it on Twitch, but I saw an alert. Maybe it was just a rogue alert. So anyways, <laughs> hey, I'm going to jump into Discord voice chat. If you're not in Discord, you should definitely join. Uh, there is a lot of people in there. All right. So we're hopping in Azroth. Uh, I will be in Azroth in about five minutes. Uh, give me time to just get some more water and uh, I'll see you there. Hey, thank you guys so much. Uh, have a fantastic Saturday. Uh, hope you have a great rest of the weekend and be good to each other. Take care, folks.